That was a muskie that just ate a Cisco on top of the water right there. Unbelievable. That only happens when a fish hits you. Here's one. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's get another one. Welcome back to Ben Stone Fishing. I'm Ben Stone and today it is the dawn of probably one of my favorite bites of the year, that being the open water musky bite. If you guys aren't familiar with this time of year, early in the season, especially here in Minnesota, a lot of our big muskies push out into the open water and they are out there feeding on oftentimes big ciscos. And I'm on a big cisco body of water today chasing down these open water muskies. It's a great way to catch big fish. It's a great way to get a lot of bites in a day. And it's just a very unique opportunity to catch these muskies over some of the deepest water in a lake. It is quite insane to think about catching these muskies in up to about 80 feet of water at times. That's what I'm doing today. We're gonna get cast in here and hopefully put one of these big Cisco greasers in the net. That's a muskie, right on a ball of Cisco's right there. Let's see if we can get that fish. Oh, I moved him. That's a good fish, big one. Came in lazy. That was a big fish. That was a really big fish. Oh man. But the tail on that thing was like that big around. All right, so we're about an hour into the morning so far and I just saw my first fish and man oh man, that might be the biggest fish that I've moved on this particular lake. And it is a prime example of why I chose this lake to come and fish in the first place. These fish are out here in the open water munching on big old Cisco's and that grows these fish unlike other fish in other lakes. And I tell you what, this freaking Mirus mouse I've used it two seasons now, and this bait just has something special about it. I don't know if it's the fact that it pushes so much more water than a normal pull pause bait, or if it's the deer hair, or if it's a combination of both, but this, oh my God. That was a muskie that just ate a Cisco on top of the water right there. Unbelievable. That's probably the fish I just had up. <gasps> okay, that's a sign I gotta get back to casting. Holy cow. I'm ready. I'm ready, let's get that first bite. Wind just picked up a little bit, I like that. That makes me feel a little bit more confident that a fish is gonna bite, look at that chunk of Cisco's. Oh my God, the bait is absolutely piled in here. There we go. Wow. Oh man, what a freaking hit. I knew it, I knew we were gonna get freaking bit. Oh man, feels like a good fish. Oh man, feels like a really good fish. Haven't seen her yet. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh man, I knew we were about to get freaking ripped, man. Ah, she's not ready yet, I know that. Nice chunky fish. Only got one hook though. Hopefully she's not gonna get off. Yeah. Oh man. What a freaking bite. Forgot what that felt like after such a long winter. I tell you what, I just got done, after I saw that fish explode on the surface, I just got done saying that I had a feeling these fish were gonna probably be snapping because if one is going, there's a good chance that there's others going. It's been a long winter. I forgot how good that bite in open water felt. Absolutely rocked. That Miris Mouse, this is a bait that I used last season. Something different that the fish probably haven't seen before. And that fish absolutely crushed it. So we're gonna get a look at this fish and get her back on our way and get back to casting. Cause if one fish is going, there's a good chance there's more going. Look at how freaking stout that musky is. Not a long fish, but you can tell this thing has been absolutely munching on some big old Cisco's out here. That is exactly why we came up here chasing those fish and hopefully some bigger ones than this. We're gonna get this fish back in the water, get right back to casting. What an awesome start to the morning. What a pretty fish. 
Look at that belly on that thing. Just been munching Cisco's. Oh man, I love this. There she goes. Oh, kicked off strong. Let's go. Let's get another one. That is so much fun. There's nothing like that bite in open water. There's a fish out the left side. Oh my God, it's right there. It's coming back. That's why you watch your lure, not your graph. You know what? I wondered, I probably could have caught that fish if I was paying attention. I was looking at my graph, because I, I knew there was a fish, but then I kind of got caught up thinking there was maybe a second fish. And then the fish was on my bait. Well, if they're gonna come up that high though still, it means they're still doing something. So we're gonna get back to it. When it comes to chasing muskies in open water, I've always said that it sounds like the most intimidating and unlikely scenario to catch a muskie. But the truth is, it's a lot more easy than it seems. And I was right there. Uh, when I found out this is a thing, I didn't really believe people. I was lucky enough to have some action the first ever time I tried it. But if I didn't, I mean, you've just gotta spend some time doing it. It's like anything else in muskie fishing. You're not gonna get that confidence unless you spend more time doing it and start learning a little bit more about it. There's a lot of great videos on YouTube where you can get a lot more information. Um, maybe start on a smaller lake and just build that confidence up before you want to go and try it on something big. But you're really just wanting to find that suspended bait fish. And once you find that suspended bait fish, just keep track of where it is. Because a lot of the times those muskies are in the area. You might not mark them on the bait, but chances are there are fish in that area. This, this has become one of my absolute favorite ways to catch muskies. I've had some of the most incredible feeding windows that I've experienced muskie fishing. And that's the great thing about this bite is these fish are out here to eat and do nothing else but eat. So a lot of the times when those fish turn on, you can get on some pretty incredible biting windows. So I could be missing out on them right now. So I'm gonna get back to casting, but just get out there, throw some casts in the open water, and I promise you eventually you're gonna get onto something. Oh my God. Just lost one because I was pulling my offhand. I didn't really sting him that bad though, but still. God dang it. It's pulling my offhand and I just got absolutely cranked. Like an idiot. That's why you always pull on your dominant side. Because the second you don't, that happens. What? Unbelievable, I just landed on one. I had something. What the heck? What just happened? I went to make my first pull and there was weight and it just popped. And then my hand just fell off the reel because there was more weight again. My bait's fouled. Did I just, yeah, oh my God, look at that. That only happens when a fish hits you. Unbelievable. Pulled the harness out and everything. That's the second lost fish or missed fish in a matter of minutes. Well, our major just ended and I had my chances. I had two chances, two bites pretty much back to back. And uh, the worst part is, is they were fixable mistakes that costed me those fish. So that's always a bummer. We had a great day though. Any day you catch a muskie is a great day and I caught it on the, uh, the bait that I wanted to catch one on today. If you guys want to check out these mirrorless mouses, I'll have the link for them in the description. If you guys like this content or you guys are a musky angler, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting the rest of the summer the best musky content that I can, but I've got a commercial shoot that I have to do tomorrow morning and I've got a three and a half hour drive. So I need to get on the road. I appreciate you all watching and I will see you in the next one.